Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Express all right here on SABC3. Start spraying the news because New York Fashion Week for the autumn winter 19 season kicks off our global tour of the most renowned fashion capitals in the world with the best in women's wear firmly on the radar. And with festivities in the Big Apple concluding today and with shows from the likes of Tom Ford and Marc Jacobs and celebrities like Kendall Jenner and Zoe Saldana seated in the front row, as usual, uh, New York is serving up nothing but star power. Here with a platter of delicious tidbits oh, is Expresso well. Fashion <laughs> Editor. Oh, well, Next well. tell us, everybody. Oh, wow, 2019 is starting out well for you. It's better than 2018, that's for sure. And 2017, you. I wasn't even here. From so. quick moments yes. to like cheers all around. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank we, you we both. Do what Zoe we can. Brown, how are you? I'm good. Listen, we just spent some time in the beauty room. We you did. showed us, we focused on the beauty from New York Fashion Week. We did. But there's so much to cover, not only beauty, but fashion, celebrity. Sightings and everything in between. Guys, so where do we start? I'm gonna rush you through because there's there's a million things that I need so to stop talking so I can get to it. Let's first talk South African representation. Yes, Ooh. we had a South African in the New York Big nice. Apple. Lucanio Medingi making his first appearance at New York Fashion Week for the Autumn Winter 19 season in a show entitled His Perennial Collection. Oh, wow. How amazing to have a South African, a local designer, I know Lucanio, to have him flown to New York Stunning. for this perennial collection is absolutely a moment to behold. Is that I his collection? It. This is his collection. So he did a presentation. So as opposed to the sort of status quo models down the runway, yeah. some designers opt to have a presentation instead where the models are actually standing around for buyers, media to come and actually look oh, at the pieces. Wow. Which is amazing because then you can see the technical detail in the garments, how it's made, the fabrication, the texture. You okay. really get much more of an insight. You get more of an insight. I like to see how the clothing moves on the body. That's it, Zoe, as well. And you can actually tell the, the, the model in the moment to like, shake it down. Oh, oh, nice. Shake it, model. Yeah, you can Move maybe around. get a more Move around, model. Girl. A close yeah. and personal <laughs> look at like the the texture of the exactly. fabric and totally. the front finishing row. of the garment. Pretty yes, nice. but if you see the front row with Anna Wintour, there you can't scream into her model into the runway like Gigi, like drop it like it's hot, like do a twirl. It's no. just not gonna work. No. Okay, beauty trends. We did beauty trends <laughs> in the in the makeup room. I want to think talk three quick ones we saw. Pearl nails, girls. <gasps> It's oh, happening, nice. and I absolutely I love this. So go to, your, go to your technician now and ask for the pearls, not the real ones, because it's expensive. Yeah. I love the low pony. So New York Fashion Week ushered in the death of the high pony. This was headlines across, and I love a high pony. So the low pony apparently is the one to stay for on in winter 19. Okay. Smoke show, So and this is something we touched on. Again, mm -hmm. the smoky eye, we're going mm -hmm. back to black. I think this is a big one as well because the, the, the smoky eye had its like renaissance yes. and then people thought it sort of had gone away. Yes. But it's back. It back. never goes away. It did not go away. Yeah. But it's nice to see these things come and go because you know, sometimes it's in, sometimes it's not. Yes. So it is in now. Let's talk about functional bag wear. Okay. Okay, so last season we saw a Brandon Maxwell designer uh, for Gigi Hadid do that rose wine bag, which we see here on the far yeah. left. Now he's doing dinner plate options. Okay. Which is stunning because models are hungry, are they? I've heard. I, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. I just don't know how you'll get through the airport with that. It's not functional. Do you have to check it. You're not allowed to take any shop objects. Glassware? Oh, Zoe Brown. Okay, you can check it. Have you, if you go to the other side of the airport, they only give you plastic. No. True, true. But we're trying to say classy. I mean, I've yet to see a supermodel eat. Say classy eats. San Diego. Yes, but here it happens. Let's talk about the breakout designer, the designer du jour, <gasps> Tomo Kazumi Ooh. from Japan. What a breakout that is. Now listen, he was this. discovered on Instagram. His show right here is at the studio of Mark Jacobs set up in New York. Okay. Mark helping out a fellow uh, emerging designer, which I love. He describes his ruffles as a type of armor. I mean, that is armor because it is. you're it's so not beautiful. It. I love it. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's more like an art piece to me than an actual garment. It's though. very girly. It's conceptual. What I love, yeah. we had uh, uh, Bella, obviously, Joan Smalls as well, um, showing. So it's nice to have the celebrity sort of <gasps> models showcasing. Imagine yes. wearing a coat like that with some denims and a white tee in winter. Did you love it? Wow. I love that you're into this, oh, I'm like, I love this over the top I love coat. that you're into it. Love VIP it. guests stood around. So much like the Lucanio presentation, this fashion week is all about letting people really engage with the product. And so it takes a social hierarchy of sitting, who's seated front row. You often lose touch of what the actual garments are because you're so concerned about, you know, is that Carly Kloss there or Madonna? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Imagine sitting next to someone that's wearing this on the plane. It's crazy. 
You're like, let's. Okay, <laughs> you let's book talk, two seats for yourself. Let's talk Rosario Problem Dawson. Solved. Remember Rosario? I love Rosario. What happened to Rosario? Well, this is where she's been. She's been designing at New York Fashion Week <gasps> with her brand Studio Love 189. It. Now listen, we have some controversy we need to talk that about very quickly. That picture got into trouble on the left hand side. Gucci showcased their line of sweaters, and obviously there was a call to arms that they were doing blackface and not to. Um, not too subtly, I yeah, should say. Of so Rosario's brand, um, Studio 189, coming out and saying, listen, we know this, is, is, this exists. Let's rather spotlight uh, quintessential African fashion. So they did a line of Ghanaian-inspired duds at okay. New York Fashion Week, nice. which was great to see. 2019 marks the 400th anniversary that, that uh, slaves were brought over on the slave trade across the Atlantic. So this is a really pivotal year, and Rosario Dawson doing her part to show okay. that this is an important thing to mark. Sustainability was really big on the rise as well. Mm -hmm. We had a whole segment on yes. sustainability in the fashion yes. industry. Chromat, which is a sustainable swimmer line. Okay. Not only did they do sustainable wear, so using discarded fishing nets, discarded oh, fabric that hadn't been used, Look at the diversity in models that we're I seeing. I love this. Isn't that great? Oh, That's needed. We had plus size, we had handicapped, we had white, black, um, and the brand really taking a stand against anti-fast fashion and the toxins used in chemical dyes. Aww, so all the clothing cool. we have here. Very cool. Celebrity sightings. Who? Can we do celebrity sightings Who's quickly? There? Candace Wanapoa, a very own oh. South African miss. She was walking in a few shows. Stunning. Um, Prabhu Garang with uh, Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid, just chilling around in New York as well. But again, it's nice, nice to see one, a South Dad. African starlet there. She's a beautiful girl. Girl, you know what they say, after the party is the? After party. party. And we saw the after party, guys. We saw the biggest stars out to celebrate Alexander Wang showing Tiffany and Co. Kendall looking good. I love, okay, we know Emily Reddish Kelsey. She mm -hmm. looks just like Kendall. I was about to ask you, why did you put two pictures of Kendall on this? Exactly. <laughs> but look at her pit stains, model sweat. I love it. Wow. No, Maybe I Maybe you shouldn't wear that. that. Why, Zoe? No, we I need to break like seeing that. the glass, the it's veneer reality. of perfectness. A-listers as well. <laughs> we had a lot of A-listers around as well. Who is that John Small canoodling with over there? That's the question, Miss Leanne Williams. Mm, I hope it's not her brother or cousin because that would kick it real crazy, real yeah. quick. A-listers, we had the likes of Gigi Hadid modeling Tom Ford. This is probably one of my favorite looks out of all the shows I saw. The one wow. on Kate Moss. Uh, no, Gigi oh, in the Gigi. middle. She's okay, modeling fantastic. a Tom Ford. But I mean, living legends, how do you not talk about the OG Kate of Moss? Course. And look at Miss Kim Kardashian. She's not very impressed good. with that. And you're not loving it. I, I love, love this it. look. At Amphar to celebrate yeah. um, a, a cure for AIDS, which is obviously an important cause. I think she slayed in this. I think she slayed. Those All boobies day. are looking poiky. They and are. a candid moment. Like Let's day. end New York Fashion Week with a candid moment, which is nice to see these superstars acting like human beings. Bella Hadid with fellow model doing her own hair. Oh, Right before going uh, on the catwalk for her Let me tell you, last trip down the runway. Nothing like a girlfriend helping you out with your yes. hair. But it's he nice to that. see that. Like these it girls is. are actually getting in there, getting their hands dirty. Friends. I love that. I yeah. love that. Thank you so much, Nick Strelitz. You are doing the most. Now, this was our first of four Fashion Week roundups for the Women's Wear Autumn Winter 2019 season. Of course, you can check in next week when we journey due north for London Fashion Week. And in the meantime, why not head over to our Expresso Facebook page for more on all of this.